So what's going on YouTube, my name is Mehul and welcome to another Vue.js tutorial in which we're gonna basically look at vif and vls in Vue and basically vls if as well if we get enough time otherwise I'll just push it to the next video. So obviously Vue provides us with conditional rendering just like Angular provides us if you have used it. So it's kind of the same thing but uh, yeah you can just take a look real quick so for example let's just say if you want to render something conditionally that means that if a condition a particular condition is true then you want to render it that's how you would do it in Vue so for example I'm gonna say um, if it's rainy here then the weather weather is rainy right otherwise let's assume that there are only two kinds of weathers so the weather is sunny right so it kind of seems intuitive because you can see that v if is linked with v else so when you write v else view would automatically look for any v if above it so if it was rendered then view is smart enough to not render the else block just like we do in programming otherwise it will render the else block and obviously we get the warning that um, rainy is not defined so that uh, we should actually define it right so let me just get rid of this data here and what we can do is define rainy here to be true just like that and you can see now we get the weather is rainy now so what we can do is basically like um, I can just basically say that uh, my view module instance is this and what I want to do is set interval of uh, let's just say second here and uh, what I'm gonna do is just say vm dot rainy is just toggled right so let's reload and you would see that we get whether it's rainy whether it's sunny whether it's rainy because um, it toggles the instance view uh, uh, this variable which is responsible for the conditional rendering uh, rendering every second so that's how basically vf and vls works and uh, well, how we else if works is that basically what we can do is just provide another condition here if it is sunny then what I want to do is say whether it's sunny otherwise what I want to do is what the hell what I want to do is just basically call whether is what so we don't know what weather it is right so what we can do here is uh, we can write sunny here as well and uh, or we can say and basically instead of like getting in a mess what we can say is something like weather is rainy right and I'm gonna just say if weather is equal to rainy and again remember that you can write valid JavaScript expressions in here it's completely valid else if weather is sunny then I want to do this otherwise weather is whatever it is Right, so what we're gonna do now is to say, is uh, let's just say, let's just say our weathers, weathers are rainy, sunny, and uh, yeah, that's basically it for now. I'm gonna say weather is uh, weathers of. Uh, we're gonna select a random element here, so I'm gonna do a map dot random times weathers dot length which gives me some number just under its length and because we need an integer I'm gonna just floor it down so that's the deal so you can see we get the weather is rainy here and we get sunny rainy and basically we can add another element so that we get that undefined kind of thing so there we go whether it's rainy whether it's whatever whether it's whatever, whether it's sunny, whether it's sunny, whether it's sunny, whether it's rainy, and so on and so forth. So basically, that is how you would work with we if, we else if, and we else blocks. And we're gonna see tons of this when we develop our cool applications with Vue. And uh, yeah, that's all basically for it for this tutorial. And if you liked it, then don't forget to subscribe. And thank you for watching. I'll see you then in the next one. Wait, your mission should you choose to accept it is to become awesome by going at codedam.com and learning various different things among a community of developers. This video will end in one second. Good luck.